Yo, what's up guys? So today we want to analyze a run that I did in the gauntlet. As some of you may know, I do not like the pit meta for the circuit at the moment, because to go like the highest tier, you have to play a Shatter Fireboard variant, which can only do a boss that spawns adds, and uh, I don't like fishing six hours to play a game once. So I said, okay, well, I have not played the gauntlet in season three, so let's try it in season four. And I have made up a build and trying to figure out what all of my mistakes are. And um, then after the run, we will take a look at my gear and check out at which steps of my gear I still can improve because my gear is actually fairly bad. I want to start with the um, notes that I already know that I'm doing wrong. And I know that I'm not teleporting on max range all the time, which is costing me time. I have to fire shield into bosses for my devouring place to proc. That has gotten better. Um, I did a test if it's better to press unstable ultimate on cooldown or pressing it only when you are at the bosses and it's actually faster overall. It gets more points if you do it on cooldown. So I changed it. Then um, I want to save lightning spear to CC elites so I can do the next part better. Like um, I can run away. Uh, earlier and let my blizzard finish the uh, um, the kill while I'm going and I have to pay more focus on not only grouping the monsters with my teleport and my raiment but also dropping some blizzards in paths that I'm just running by to squeeze out a couple more points and see what I'm noticing here. So this is what I meant like if they have about one third of HP and uh, they are not like ready to teleport or something, I can usually leave. It's enough DPS and I need to perfect this. Okay, fail teleport. Yeah, I often don't use the teleport on cooldown. Fail teleport again. I'm also not sure yet if my pathing is the best. So I also want to keep a look on the timer, especially the EXP shrines, to see if I can optimize my pathing here. God, getting stuck, running against the wall. Yeah, I'm doing the side cast pretty well. Like I'm getting those two without having to go anywhere close. Those two rooms. Yeah, I could have teleported instantly out of the CC. And I stayed too long, the boss was already dead, could have been moving. I tend, after I teleport with the normal teleport, I tend to walk a little before I use the other one. There's like a slight gap in between that I can improve. Fail teleport again, again. Again, holy shit. Okay, the amount of pale teleports is pretty insane. When I'm playing, maybe because I'm feeling like a bit of a time pressure, it does not feel like I'm, I'm that bad, but now that I look at it, like my accuracy is really bad. Here I didn't get that elite for sure because I didn't drop the blizzard after the um, after the teleport. Okay, now I'm. T I think now I'm gonna take the first um, shrine. For additional bonus, I, I lure that, get the shrine, get the pillar. Thank you. 
and here my pillar stops so what I did do is like I, I got there in that little corner uh, here I think that was not good I could do that by side move and then I would get um, this guy here as well with the thing Okay, that's stupid, no? Wasting time having to look at the map. And I think I walked I walk the wrong way there. If I would have gone straight, it would have been... Um, it would have been faster. And leave, 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 leave. Okay. I still tend to leave. Too, um, too late. I see here I'm leaving. I was fairly confident, but it didn't work and I had to go back. See that that cost like five, six seconds. That's bad. Here killing them. Uh, I stacked a couple of blizzards trying to get them again. Not sure if it worked. What did, what am I doing? Holy shit, how am I ranked 15 with that crap run? I don't know, but now that I look at it, it looks really bad. <laughs> like so many things I can still improve. I think like just mechanics can probably get me to like 700k because lots of things here are really sloppy. You see, like like I, I'm st I'm stuck there like a fucking bot against the wall. It doesn't also make sense. I'm not doing that often enough. Like backtracking into the direction at the boss room that you are leaving to get a bit more more damage. Yeah, I stayed way too long. They they're already dead. So like I keep. Yeah, I'm never using my evade teleport at the moment. Probably one plus or too much on that guy. And in general, 
Like you see, I, I'm not even getting all the bosses yet because I am moving way too slow. Huh? I could get so much more. Yeah, okay. No, but like as always, like if you want to improve at something, just watch your gameplay. It helps you so much to understand. Like it's now so much clearer in my mind how I have to move. So two things I can still improve on, like the first one is probably the Paragon board. I have not optimized it for the build, I just used my normal fumble. And the second one is gear. I think my skill tree is already fine. Um so here I could roll um, triple cooldown reduction. Here on the chest I have only a greater affix on intelligence. You actually want to create the greater affix on class cannon and then hit class cannon only once with a masterwork and then um, hit intelligence twice. The reason why is you cannot get class cannon to plus five. You can all, even if you triple crit it, so only one class cannon rest into intelligence. That's like the way to go here. Um, on my clothes, I am missing a greater FX and critical strike chance. It's not like um, the biggest deal. The the rest is um, is working, but actually I do not want to have a um, lucky hit on chance. I, um, to stun, I actually want to have crowd control duration. So if I pop one blizzard, um, they will instantly CC and cannot run out. And in the CC, they die. This is the strategy. I just didn't hit it. That's the issue. And that one was a, a max roll. And yeah, that's how it works. Um, usually, you do want to have um, ice spike damage, like I have on the amulet right here on your rolls, but with frigid fate in your um, in your paragon board to get that to almost a three hundred percent, you need cold damage once, and I got that on the gloves here. Um, the T bolts here, I would say, is the is an item that I have that's currently best in slot. You have the um, the damage greater affix and the twenty percent. The only thing I can I still need to triple crit on that damage. Then if I'm looking at my boots, I think this is probably like um, one of the best items that I currently have. Attack, reduce the weight, cooldown is a must-have. Intelligence is where I'm getting my damage from, so it's fine. No? Mana and movement, also decent. But the good thing is the evade cooldown reduction was actually a max roll here. And I still need to master work this specific item to hit three times evade cooldown reduction. This is the most important, like I could, I could be moving so much faster because now if you're looking at my amulet here, I did not even hit the evade cooldown reduction. I sadly hit mobility cooldown reduction. It's not like the worst, but I am missing about 20% evade cooldown reduction that I could still get here. And yeah, there's a big step up front. And of course, um, I would say getting an amulet like this is currently already hard enough with the tempering, so I'm going to work on the amulet probably um, the after, because my Tarasha here is what's actually um, not like the best. It's, it is a 1560, but um, I already have enough damage, so um, I would much rather have like um, one with cooldown reduction create the fx that I can masterwork and triple hit rather than having like perfect 1560. So someone with cooldown reduction create a fx and like 56 or 58 percent would be fine and probably in my budget. So this is probably the the point where I can get the best upgrade from my current state of the gear. Because um, here I also don't have to risk in investing into an expensive item and then tempering it and it's useless. Like for example, on the uh, um, on the offhand, I do have a cooldown reduction creator FX, but while tempering, I did get vulnerable damage and actually I need ice spike damage here. 
and I don't have an int um, affix at all. I was just not able to get it because like cooldown reduction um, focuses with like either int or crit as an additional one to recreate the affix cooldown reduction is already two or three build. And I rather buy like something like a Tarasha that cannot die from tempering than an item that I could maybe prick. Of course, at some point I will have to buy it or maybe get like really lucky and drop it. But um, for now, I think it's fine. Um, this one right here is probably the part where I am uh, most satisfied with. Um, I do cause it is a triple creator affix. The tempering is somewhat okay. Um, I still, I'm still looking on offering on more triple creator affix because they are not that expensive. Because I'm currently still trying to get a max ice spike damage to triple creator affix weapon to then be hitting the ice spike damage um, with the uh, with the master working because that actually scales um, fairly well even though it's a um, additive multiplier there yeah that's it so i will try to search a terrasha ring and i will keep you updated on how the progress is and if you're interested in the guide on how the whole build works how you can um can push gauntlet really easy even though if you see it my gear is not even close to being perfect and i reach rank 15 so if you're interested let me know in the comments and i will upload a full in-depth guide on how to play sorcerer in the gauntlet Cheers, guys.